What's up, guys? Today I have Brady here, my friend, hey. and uh, we're just talking about Bitcoin stuff because it's lots of fun. So right here, he's going to show me. Um, he's got a hydrogen generator, and I'll just turn the camera around so we can see that, and he'll explain how it works and how he's going to use it to hook up to his uh, um, ASIC miners. Okay. Okay. So the thing with hydrogen is it is dangerous. You're using potassium hydroxide and you're running it through this electrolysis process and it's very flammable, it's very dangerous. So I have an actual like protective case where I can shut it. That way if anything does explode, it just hits this and it's over 250 times stronger than glass. So it should Is that plexiglass? Stronger. Is, oh really? What is it? Yeah. Uh, it had a weird name. Okay. It's <laughs> super long. All right. <laughs> That's cool. So, right at the bottom, I got two little tiny hydrogen generators. I use these because they're the most efficient for how much space they're using for the price, and they produce more hydrogen than if you just bought a system where it had two of these combined. You got that on eBay? Yep. Right? Okay. Yeah, it's like $55. So with these, you want to spray it with a waterproof coating. That way they stay clean and they last a lot longer. And so pretty much all it is, is I got a water tank right here. And the water tank just drops down, splits into two, and goes into these hydrogen kits. Uh, so pretty much the water goes in. And the negative and positive rotates. It starts separating the molecules and the hydrogen starts floating up to the top. Uh, hydrogen is just a gas and it goes through here. They both combine right here, start pushing through. Now it's gonna be very, very foamy. So there's gonna be a lot of liquid flowing in. And that's why I have this. It catches all the liquid. And even if it starts filling all the way to the top, which it won't, because the water level is over here. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're seeing right here is the water level. So it gets any liquid and it like just starts working like a bubbler after just a couple minutes, uh, maybe five minutes at most. But it starts going through here and this is where a filter is. That's where I can just get rid of all the moisture that I possibly can get rid of and it hopefully should be completely dissipated by the time it gets out. Is it has to be forced through a filter to get out. Any moisture is going to run through here and go right back into the tank. That way it's recyclable and it lasts a super long time as well. So the hydrogen will run through this line and go right into your air filter or carburetor. It gets sucked right in through the airflow. Now, I've actually ran this. Uh, just last week I ran just one of these and it didn't have a lot of power because it's just a tiny little generator. But I shut off the fuel line and just let it die. And then I like pumped hydrogen in there and started it up and it ran for like 10 seconds. Now I'm hoping, uh, so tomorrow I'm actually gonna be hooking up this or actually probably Saturday next week hooking it back up to the generator and hopefully it'll run for at least 30 seconds to a minute <laughs> before it dies and then I'll be running it with three of these enough like I'll just keep going till I have enough power to run it completely and then we'll have a video running the hydrogen generator yeah or <laughs> I'll just like fill up all right and then so I'll just do like another video where I actually have this all hooked up, running ASIC miners off of a backup generator. So the the idea, I guess, just to like clarify too, is um, that you're going to use this, the hydrogen gas, to run a generator, right? Which then you're going to use that to power the ASIC miners. Yep. Okay. 